Hey guys, Jared with National Fire Radio, first in emergency products, Haskell, New Jersey. I'm with Ryan Dodd, the man that makes things happen here. Ryan, <laughs> thanks for having us in. Thanks for coming down, Jack. So here we are. He calls me Jay, Jeremy. The guys that know me and have known me a long time, I carry a lot of different names, but the one name that I want to bring forth is first in emergency products and what these guys are doing for the fire business, <laughs> right? What Ryan and his guys here do is they make custom cabinets, they upfit vehicles, right? Ryan, maybe tell me a little bit about First In. Yep, so um, we develop uh, custom cabinets, consoles, overhead consoles, other products that you would use in your emergency vehicle, and then we provide a specialized solution so that you can fulfill your mission. Awesome, and so we're talking fire, police, EMS, the dog catcher, you name it, you guys are building cabinets, consoles, yep. and upfitting those vehicles. 100% custom, they do incredible work here. I've known Ryan a long time, I have a lot of his product, I've used a lot of the product out of First In, and they do a great job. The one thing we're here tonight to talk about, what's exciting for First In, Ryan, is your total decon kit. Jump into it, man. Let's talk about that, and let's talk about the gear safe. Yep, so the total decon kit, it gives you uh, responder wipes, it gives you citrus squeeze to decon your gear, it gives you S the SC14, which can clean the compartment after it, clean your tools, um, and then combined with that with our gear safe filtration system, it allows you to transport your gear back to the firehouse for uh, 1851 decontamination. NFPA 1851. Yep. So, interesting enough, we talk about health and fitness, we talk about taking care of our own. In the fire service, cancer has become a real big deal for all of us, right? We know that our job is inherently dangerous, carcinogens, the off-gassing of your equipment, your turnout gear, your tools, and so on. What they've done in their custom consoles or custom cabinets, Ryan, is you guys now have what you call the gear safe. Correct. So the gear safe is a um, filtration system that is an odor and particulate filter. It was designed for the fire service and it's a, a passive filtration system so you have a sealed compartment door along with the filter that's up With the gear safe, we're trying to make sure that it's not just prevent, we're trying to make sure that we're preventing cancer. Right. So we need to raise awareness, we need to make it something that we're all talking about. So on top of you buying the filtration system, the gear safe, along with the total decon kit, we're making a hundred dollar donation to the Carney Strong Initiative. Nice. In your name or whichever department purchases the unit. And the Carney Strong goes out and it uh, holds grant programs that give decon supplies to departments in need. So doing this, it kind of brings it full spectrum, helps raise more awareness, helps get the equipment that people need in order to do on-scene decon properly and get it into the hands of the fire. And the biggest thing is this, right? It's education. Right. Like, so often we think we're tougher than we are. And so the right. stigma of clean cab or the stigma mm -hmm. of, you know, this NFPA code that we all now need right. to follow or suggested to follow, right? But the, but the fact is this. With a career on the career side, your chiefs, your operational officers, they're getting dirty at fires, they're putting their equipment back in their vehicles, and then they're riding out the rest of the tour with dirty gear. The design of the gear safe is to get your equipment back in, filter out the dangerous particulates out of the gear until you can get back to decon your gear, mm -hmm. and then your gear is stored in the cabinet. Right. On the volunteer side, a lot of departments allow families to be in the vehicle with the volunteer chief and so on. So you're talking about your family in the car and so on. So I think the exposure of being in a vehicle for a 12-hour shift or a 24-hour tour, or if you're volunteering, you drive it 365 days a year, you're always in the vehicle. And so we have to do everything we can to prevent the potential for the dangerous carcinogens and so on that we that could very much affect us. And we're not trying to make anything difficult or complex here because right. we know if it's something that's difficult, we're not going to do it. Right. It's got to be simple, easy. It's literally just put the gear in the compartment after you've deconned it and then take it back. And I think, it's, I think it's great. I really do. And what you guys are doing here with that design into your custom cabinetry and giving the customer the option of upfitting their cabinet one step ahead to you know better the health initiative for them and then giving out the total decon kits with every kit with every console right. or cabinet sold. Whichever way, whether you're buying a gear shift cabinet or you're just buying a regular fire command cabinet whether it's a slide out for a Durango you're getting the total decon. I think at the end of the day Recognizing that, understanding that, and passing that on so that myself as a, as a firefighter and all my brothers and sisters out there have that option to protect ourselves is fantastic. And the fact that you're taking it one step further and making that donation on behalf of that department is just fantastic. So, Brian, great job, brother. Thank you for having us here at First Emergency Products. Fantastic product, custom cabinetry, looking out for the firefighters. Jeremy with Ryan Dodd, First Emergency Products, National Fire Radio.